Good morning, you guys. It's your girl Shay. So I am currently at the hospital and I'm about to get my urine sample and then I have some lab blood work to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm really um, trying to, uh, you know, get my stuff in order. Yeah, get my life and stuff in order. Um, I know that a lot of y'all were concerned about me breathing and stuff yesterday, but like I said, I am okay. I'm just a lot of fucking heavy. I'm just, you know, overweight and it's just something that I have to take control. Y'all have to understand that I'm like, I'm only 4'11", barely five foot. And all of my weight is in my stomach, so me carrying around all this weight is obviously it's not healthy and it's not good but i mean what am i gonna do about it until i start losing weight you know what i mean so i understand a lot of you guys are not plus size so i'm like you wouldn't understand but for the ones that do okay we've made it been known several several times so um, I come to do my blood work today because I asked my doctor could I get on Ozempic or Mananjaro because there's a subscriber on here and she's taking it and you can definitely see a change. She's actually doing like um, TikTok videos and stuff like that, you know, showing her progress and all that type of stuff and she's really doing good. And actually one of my friends just got on it and I sent her the link so that way she can see. So I'm like, I think she's only like on like week two. So I'm like, it's not much progress to be shown, but we're gonna um, make it do what it do. So let me get this urine sample in and carry on. Peace. She's squeezing now. I'm trying to Okay, you guys, I am back home and uh, they did my blood work pretty quick and I've already got my results back. I just do not know how to read them. So I do have an upcoming appointment uh, later on this month to go over my um, lab works and, you know, all that type of stuff. And actually, I was really supposed to, let me give y'all a backstory. So remember I told y'all that I didn't have insurance last year because I missed it with uh, my job. So I scheduled an appointment for the first week of March when the lady was supposed to come back from maternity leave. So they called me that same week and they was like, we have to cancel your appointment because the lady is not in the uh, office. She's not accepting appointments. I said, okay, so when is she accepting appointments again? They said not till September. I said, September. I said, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I need to see a doctor right away. I haven't seen a doctor in about a year since I left California and I made this appointment last year. Like, come on, girl. So then they was like, well, we have September and October. I said, no, that's too late. So then they gave me one for the end of April. And I'm like, okay, I just stuck with that one. And that's when they end up sending me a message on my my chart. And so they have something, um, something available. So right now I'm about to call um, this OBGYN office and get me an appointment set up because I do not have one. In a prescription refill, please contact your pharmacy. Press 1 to schedule or cancel an appointment. All representatives are currently assisting other callers. Please remain on the line and the next available staff member will assist you. Okay, and I do believe that um, then I was going to say, okay, so I do have some type of uh, weight management number that I'm supposed to call. I think I left the paper in the car. So I'm going to have to go to the car and get that paper out because 
I believe I have an appointment with them or I have to call them, but I do want to try to get the weight loss surgery this year or whatever. The lady was telling me uh, sometimes, you know, they have patients lose some weight and before they get the surgery or sometimes, you know, they just go and give them the surgery. So we're going to see. Hello? Hello? Oh. So I'm really going to try hard this year to get the surgery because I'm just like, even though, you know, I'm like, I do want a family and, you know, stuff like that. I'm not pressing the issue right now because I'm like, I'm still young. Um, and like I said, knowing me, I'm like, my, my, what I'm trying to say is that my work in St. Louis is not done yet. So I'm just like, baby, if I can get my weight loss surgery done here and enjoy my little three bedroom house, you know, get it set up the way I want it to be. And you know, if me and um Mr. Man oh hold on. How can I help you? Hi, I would like to set up an appointment uh for my first time visit for OBGYN. Okay, for a pregnancy or a woman exam? Uh women exam. Okay, the first available appointment we'll have is in July. Ooh, okay. Um, can I go ahead and just schedule that? Yeah, what's your phone number? Y'all see what I'm talking about? July 14th? That is a long time away. I'll be like, baby, I'm like, good thing I'm not pregnant because I'm just like, y'all just, I don't know. For some reason, I just say St. Louis is just, they want to be up on game so much, but they are just so behind in like everything. Like, baby, it's April. April, May, June, July. Why do I have to wait three to four months to get an appointment? So I'm just going to stick with that because my main concern and goal and stuff right now is to start losing weight for real. Like this paper right here, this paper right here, this fucking number right here is crazy. Like I knew I was big, but I'm just like, I didn't want to believe this number, but this number is a true fact. I'm not even going to give y'all the number until I officially start doing my, um, I want to say transition, but not really transition, you know, where they do like a before shot, or, you know, like after shot. So that way, you know, you can see some differences and maybe, I ain't even going to say maybe, me about to do this weight loss journey and making a tenth effort to do this is it is really about to blow everybody on YouTube out the motherfucking water. They can be like, damn Shay, I didn't know you was like that. Yeah, I'm like that. I'm like I mean I mean I got me a nice little shape, you know, besides the stomach, but I'm just like I don't know. Honestly I think that once I got my first job at Dollar Tree and I had my own car my own place, baby. I mean, I was still, I wasn't I want nearly as this big as I was. I mean, I was still, you know, fine as wine. But it's just like when you get older, like, you can do do what you want to do. You can eat what you want to eat. You don't got to tell nobody to, uh, nobody ain't going to tell you, you know, to put that back. I mean, you know, you got to ask permission to go in the refrigerator or you can't eat after a certain time, all the stuff, you know. I'm like, but now that you get older, it's, all I got to do is what's in your mind. And like I always tell y'all that my mindset is not right yet because I'm just like, I'm not ready to make these like lifestyle changes. But I have made these changes several times before. And then this time I just said, fucking everything just flew out the window. And I just said, you know, I'm like, okay, but I'm like, now it's time to get serious. You know, like I'm getting older and shoot. I want to look good, too. You know, I'm like, I can still be plus size. And, you know, I'm like, my overall probably, I'm not even going to say weight. I'm going to just say my clothes size. I would like to be a 14, 16, a thick 14, 16. You know, I'm like, I can still have a little stomach, but I'm like, I just don't want that little hang time down at the bottom. I'm like, shoot, I always say if they can just fucking cut that off, baby, I'll start from right there. But I'm going to keep y'all updated. Um on everything that goes on and what I do. So I'm like, this is, you know, 
me just recording for myself and for others to be like, okay, we always see people on 600 pound life or, you know, these people on TikTok and everything else who's like, oh, I used to be this and now I'm, you know, this. Like, I'm not trying to be a little Barbie, you know, size two or nothing like that. I just want to be able to be healthy, let my little feet shrink down, you know, so I can wear the little cute little sandals, you know, like I'm back, like I'm used to, it, you know. So, this right here, yeah, we we finna get together. But right now, I'm really just, um, I don't know, for some reason, it's like 70, 80 degrees outside. And Michigan Man wants some damn chili. Chili and cornbread. So, I just finished washing my dishes and cleaning all the uh, stuff out the refrigerator out. And I'm about to make him some chili. I pulled me some salmon out. So, I'm like, I think I'm going to put my salmon in the air fryer. But I'm just like, for some reason, I'm like, I really don't want salmon. Um... I might just end up making me some um some t some tuna salad for real. But if I do make the tuna salad, I'll show y'all that. Um today is Tuesday, April the 4th. So yeah. Let's continue this journey on and I would appreciate it, you know, I'm like if people just I don't know. I mean, y'all always give me words of encouragement and stuff like this, but I'm just like, really, if y'all really, really want to see me and others accomplish, take a step back and just let us do us and not try to give us a time frame because everybody's body doesn't work as the same because I'm pretty sure I do not have a fast metabolism. So I'm like, I'm not going to burn as much calories and all the other stuff as like other people or maybe even you. So I'm just like, don't compare yourself to me and I'm not going to compare myself to you. That's all I have to say for today. I will be back and let y'all know the team because this is just Shay being super transparent and allow y'all to be in my life. Even though people say, well, you put so much of your stuff on your life and you know, you don't want people to talk about you or judge that is the, hey, do what y'all do and I'm going to do what I do. Good morning, everybody. Today is my Friday. So I just dropped all my clients off the program. I'm about to head back to their house, do my notes, wash a few dishes. Um, and then uh, even though it is Thursday, I got to go pick Mystery Mom up because she wants to go to Walmart and Marshall's. And then... I'm well, I don't know if she wants to go to this other Walmart, but there's this Walmart in Chahoka, Illinois. It's really not that far. I've been to that Walmart before, it's um, actually kind of small, but their store is permanently closing at the end of April, and their whole store is 50% off. So, what I'm going to do, and if there's still supplies left, I heard that you can only get like a certain amount of, you know, supplies. Where you, I mean, you can buy whatever you want. Just a certain amount of supplies. But I'm like, I would like to go stock up on my toilet paper, uh, dish detergent, soap detergent, body wash, um, you know, like household needs, you know, stuff like that. So I'm like, if they have that stuff, then, baby, that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to swipe that motherfucking card. You hear me? So that's our plans for this morning. And... I already got dressed because I'm like, I did the overnight last night. So I just got on my California, like, uh, jersey or whatever. And I got, like, on some black legging jeans. And then I just got on my black, um, little, uh, Yeezy runners or whatever. So, yeah, that's going to be my outfit today. I'll make sure, like, I insert the picture or something. But, um, yeah, let's head back to work and finish out the shift. Y'all, I'm just doing my notes right now. And... Baby, the lace is lacing, but I'm like, it ain't blending because I'm just like, I don't have no makeup to like blend it in. And I need to cut some more of this because when I was cleaning the lace last night, it was like a big chunk of hair that came out. So I'm just like, I feel like that Um, I pulled some more hair out the front. So I'm like, technically, I'm like, I can cut this part and, you know. But I'm like, I did wash my hair and put some um, oil in it. And, I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks damn good from a far away. I just need to, you know, blend this in. But, yeah, I'm just doing my notes. 
and um yeah so how was your morning or how was your thursday going let me know y'all we out here with mystery mama gonna go to uh marshall's you said what you like that music uh, okay to be like this one but the um straps are too thin that's what i was thinking that's like cute it you like it mm -hmm. you find yourself something these i got another but y'all yeah. see you want to show the people what you got what people my people on youtube oh you want to no you can show them i can i can mm -hmm. blur you that's all right They, they, the last time I told them that we had went to Walmart and they was like, uh, I was like, I don't know what to call her, but I don't want to say your real name. I said, well, I'm just going to call her Mystery Mom. So if you call what you call it, Mystery Mom. <laughs> She really be having me everywhere. Now she got me at freaking Ross. Let's go in here and see what uh, is going on. So we're in Ross right now, and why do they have a freaking Capilon pot for $30? Like, this pot is probably about $50, $60 at Target. But I'm just like, I've been looking for another big pot like this, and also need like, um, like a skillet like this. Um, I really would like the Capilon one, but baby, Ross is, um, got me hooked for $20. That's a nice little color, too. Yo, I need to bring my card or nothing here. I'm just like, let me just up and go do what I got to do for her and go back. But, baby, 
somebody else in the store just said something about uh they doing like a little mental health care day and i'm just like baby shopping is very therapeutic but you know let's see because i'm like honestly i'm like i was really trying to wait till i go to uh walmart to see if they had anything um on sale because i said it was 50 percent off but i might just get it did you find something i found these pots i was thinking about getting i was thinking about it well this one um this one is the uh, pot that i have to set to already and i'm like i might uh get it so that i can give your pot back mm, i really like it Oh, not only do they got the skillet to this one, but they got the big mama pot right here. This is a cast iron skillet too. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Let me see how much it is. Bro, that was only $25. Like, I have to put that cap on back and see. Look at the pretty wardrobe. I mean, wardrobe. Picture frames over here. Mm, nice stuff. Going to this Walmart, but uh, baby, they making people stand in line just to go to the damn store. I'm like, I don't need the damn 50% off that damn bad. I mean, I mean, it looks fucking, I mean, it would be nice to you know get some stuff 50% off, but standing in this line and ain't no telling uh, what the circumstances are. Cause I'm pretty sure they're not giving people no damn time limit in here and it's forcing people to stay outside so that way their lines don't be held along and people just not waiting so I'm just like mm, we might have to bypass this one I'm like you want but a few minutes from where I was uh at from downtown but fuck no y'all that's why I said well I didn't tell y'all but last time I was telling the mystery man that I wanted to go and I was telling him that I should have um Wish I didn't have to work overnight last night because I would have been here at six o'clock in the morning when they opened. So that's why. But I mean, the line looks like it's moving, but um, I mean, it looks like it's moving. I'm like, I'll probably go stand in line, but let me just um, ask some people, like, is it like a limit or anything on it? And I'm like, I'm gonna let y'all know. Is it a no washing powder and, and stuff like that? But oh, I mean, just like a pl players was like 60. I got them for 30. Blow up beds, you know. I'll put it like this here if they ain't got what you're looking for, they're gonna have something else you're gonna want to get. Mm, okay, <laughs> that I'm like, that's what I came for like it, detergent it, and it, stuff like that. They got that at all. It's 50% off. Okay, is it worth standing in there or no? Uh, they still got good stuff, not a lot of stuff. You see what I got? Yeah, I got stuff that we could use. Okay. And um, my kids, my grown boys, I bought them some. Uh, uh I got a son coming from jail. Blow, blow up bed. Okay. That's not cold. Yes, okay. I mean, it's worth it if you you want things. You know, we work hard. We, we black women. Right. Because I ain't giving no another man no money. I was married, and he was giving his girlfriend my money. Oh. And she told me. I called his daughter. I said, "Better talk to your daddy, cause." I'm from Mississippi. You don't want me to shoot it. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave him alone. Y'all quit calling me mama. I know that's right. All right, thank you. Hey, take it. No, 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 no. I can't use Okay. Well, let's see. <laughs> that's where I love black women. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the palace. This is your girl, Shay. And today I am at the international uh, market and I'm about to go buy some stuff to make lumpias because remember we said we were gonna make a Filipino dish. I've never made lumpias um, at all. They are a different version of an egg roll. And also um, I do wanna go look in here. There's another international market that I would like to go to, uh, but we're just gonna take you know one day at a time. And I think I will ask the baby, you know, can we go get the um, 
ingredients and stuff to make uh, chicken adobo and maybe one of these weeks we can make them for um, my client uh, for my clients you know for lunch or you know dinner or something but today I'm just gonna try to get the ingredients for lumpia and then stay tuned because we will have a video of me actually cooking and preparing the lumpia and stuff like this but let's just go into this international store and see what they got for your girl because your girl ain't been to one since California and I'm just like honestly I'm just like I'm really really missing California like for real for real like the sunshine the people like I mean I was food duh but just stuff in general so let's just go in here and see what we see and make it do what it do y'all they have so much stuff in here obviously they got different beers and coca-colas and stuff from um everywhere yeah, I'm gonna better show y'all the whole store because it's a lot in here. <gasps> well, I don't like this one, but uh, this one reminds me of, um, I don't know what it reminds me of. But yeah, this is stuff that I'm looking for. Maybe we can find some, um, I don't know. Y'all, it looks to me like they have fresh pita breads. So if you ever want to get you some pita on me, you can do so. Um, they have a lot of stuff in here. Um, let me just look through here. I think me and um, Jay actually tried one of these at um, a restaurant we went to. I mean, we didn't really like them, but they had stuff filled in here. It looked more like this one, but with like brown. So... Yeah, let me just look through here and I'll show you when we get like somewhere over there. There's not that many people in here, but I just want to show y'all a little culture because you know this is the type of stuff that we do. We explore. Okay. Also, if y'all see something in this store or something that y'all want me to try or I know we don't really do like mukbangs and stuff on my channel. But if you find something like in a store that y'all seen or something new, let me know and I will be happy to try it for you. Right now I'm looking for Filipino, um, uh, the wrappers, not the regular arrow wrappers, the other ones. So I'm trying to see these, well no, these are actual spring roll wrappers. I think these are it right here. Y'all, we might have to come back because they have empanada um, wrappers too. Girl, they got like a little bit of everything. What is, oh yeah, they got a little bit of everything in here. Girl, they got the sweet plantain. Hold on, matter of fact, let me go and get a little box. Oh, and they got the fried plantain. Mr. Man is allergic to uh, bananas, but I'm like, I don't know if he can have these, but I'm like, I don't know. Um, also, they do have bags of samosas, Indian samosas. So I'm like, you can also get these. Uh, this is what we tried before. I've tried falafel and I don't really like it. Y'all, I wouldn't mind buying some dragon fruit, but I do not know what to make with it or how to um, use it. So if y'all have something to make with dragon fruit, let me know so um, we can do it. But let me get to the rest of the store and see y'all i'm really loving this different culture stuff y'all look at this they got duck um they got fish matter of fact i need to ask my co-worker uh peter he's from nigeria and i want him to make me a spicy snapper motherfucking head. I don't know what that is. Let me put that back. Oh, baby. They got beef oxtails. These are the big ones. Now, see, now if uh, African Palace would have gave me two of these, I would have been happy. They got tripe. We need to 
department. Well, it don't say what type of meat it is, so we ain't gonna get it. Yeah, we have different um, cultural pictures, frames, and I wish I knew what some of this meant, but I know it means well, wealthy prayers. And then they have super meat back here. Y'all, we can get you a whole something. Then you also know they have um, pots and pans, you know, mixers and stuff like that. We're not gonna go down at all. But, um, yeah, let me go on and get what I'm gonna get. <gasps> Sazoon, they got the big box. I just bought one from the Dollar Tree the other day. They got your different meats in here. Oh, they got a cheap oxtail for $19. Yeah, I like this one. I need to get some um, ground pork too. Look at them, got the salt bay. Okay. Y'all, they have the different spices over here. They're all for a good price, $3.49. I mean, you can't beat that. They got all of your curries, um, all these other type of spices. Oh, but while we over here, let's look at some of this stuff. Well, I don't think this is what I was looking for, but yeah, they got everything. Okay, so what I really need from here is, I do need a cabbage, but I don't need it that big. Now, one thing I know I'm in South California is like all the. You're welcome. I mean, <laughs> you. it's like all the Goya products, like adobo, like everything. Like I said, like they have the big thing of Sazon for three nineteen. Like that is a deal. I just bought some yesterday. Um, I'm gonna come back and get some adobo because I just bought some yesterday, but. Baby, this is yeah. I kind of bought like a actually, I bought one of these yesterday from the dollar store, so I'm not even gonna need that. But the switch aisles because I need um. I'm not for sure if I want to pick up some jerk sauce right now. Matter of fact, I think I'll come back when I come and get the um, oxtails for real. Um, I definitely will be getting one of these. Oh, they're the same price. Um, which one do I like better? Which one guys do you like better? This one or this one? I think I'll get this one. Sorry. Um... Yes. Yes, baby. This is a staple in my house. Well, for me, spring roll sauce. There is something else that I need to. I got soy sauce. I need some um, fish sauce, but I'm like, I don't need the exact pig. Um, oh, well, let's just get the. Matter of fact, I do got fish sauce at home. I'm not, no, I don't know if I have fish sauce. I think I have either fish sauce or um, sesame oil. I think it's sesame oil, but let me go ahead and get it. And actually they have two different types of um, sauces. They have the sweet chili one and they have the spring roll one, but I think I'm used to that one so um yeah let me switch it so my like, baby let me stick to what i know you feel me i think this one's a little thicker and then you know they have the noodles over here um mm, i wish my homegirl amanda was here because baby this is her type of store and baby they do have you know dress attire in here 
they got everything that you need for a hookah. So maybe if you don't know what to do on a Tuesday night, let's do hookah. Damn, I didn't know you could open the front case. Um, let me see something. Y'all, I don't even think that I told y'all happy first Friday because it is the first week of April, baby. Yeah, that's exactly why I said um, today's going to be a good day. Well, I don't know if I told y'all it's going to be You know what? My mind is just like super like all over the place. And usually like, I don't know what I'll be doing in California like on first Fridays or whatever, but baby, for some reason, like living out here just makes me want to pop the fuck out. Like, even though like I got a man or whatever, you know, like baby, Mr. Man ain't finna tell me what to do or nothing this summer. Like nothing, I mean, he ain't been telling me what to do, but I don't know, I just feel like it's a whole new, like something, like I don't know what it is, but I'm just feeling myself. Ooh! Okay, now on to the next store because they did not have any carrots or green onion or any pork. I was gonna get this hamburger meat that was like already seasoned, but I'm just like, I'll season my own shit. So yeah, let's go to the next store. So now we're at a store called Deerberg's. Um, I've never been in here before, but let's go see what else they have. Y'all damn it, should have waited to come in here because they already got everything cut up. Those are Brussels sprouts though. Let's right here i just stopped in um family dollar um i don't know why i stopped no matter of fact i just went to atm and for some reason uh i guess i should have paid more attention but i actually need change so i was just like let me just see what they have in here um if i find something i'll let y'all know but if not then i'm gonna close out the vlog um i will see y'all when i make the lumpias and yeah i'm about to go get my tv mounted on my wall, I'm about to go pick Mystery Man up from work because you know he got to get some coins. The fuck, mama don't play. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Okay, y'all, so I'm really about to end the vlog. I just want to show y'all that I do have my TV in my bedroom mounted. This is a 50 inch TV. Um, I just got out the shower. The only thing that, um, I'm actually editing the video right now too. So, the only thing that I did get from the Family Dollar was. I went to like their little dollar section or whatever. I got two things of toothpaste. They were like a dollar twenty-five. I got some more Q-tips that were like two dollars. I ended up getting some body wash, and I ended up getting me and Mister Man something to drink. And um, actually, I got this really really cute uh, nail polish. Let me show y'all. So I'm like, I'm gonna go get my um, y'all. I took my thing down to put a scarf on it because it just wasn't that bright. But let me show y'all. I ain't going nowhere, Mumu. So I ended up getting some more Jergens lotion for the uh, car on my bag. But this one said it's supposed to be a smoky rose. So I'm gonna see if Mr. Man will paint my toes at night. But we will see. But this is what all that I got. And y'all. Um some final destination shit was going on in my bathroom because I was wrapping my hair up and um everything. Y'all I ended up putting a little bit more make more makeup on that little lace. I'm gonna put it in what you call it but um point to but girl remember when I told y'all that that motherfucking uh light was hanging off it freaking fell down like straight up like busted and like shattered in the sink and I was just like they lucky like I wasn't like bending down brushing my teeth or nothing because I would have got glass all in my hair. So yeah. Let's get my toes painted in. I will see y'all in the next one. Actually, let's go see. Hold on. I got a stick to this paper like
like uh-huh. Bruce Lee, bitch. I'm by my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back, she a groupie. She just swallow all my kids in a two seat. Swagged out, familiar, we bringing them cats out. I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house. Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out. I'm back. Why they sleeping on you so hard? Don't, don't give a fuck, I'm about to jump back in my go-yard. Jump start. I, I hit my dance on these bitches.